How to perform good SVC and MBW tests with Easy One Pro Lab. Hello and welcome to this educational movie. Thank you for taking the time to watch this short video. After watching this video, you will know how to set up the device, turn on the device, enter patient data, how to perform a slow vital capacity and multiple breath nitrogen washout test on a patient with a special focus on how to instruct the patient correctly and motivate him to perform the tests correctly. Please start with checking that the oxygen hose is connected. Open the gas tank completely and set the pressure to 3 to 4 bar. Now, start the device by pushing the on-off button. You do not need to consider any warm-up time. Before you can enter the patient data, you need to authenticate yourself as a user. Please click the button Patients, then press New to enter a new patient. Enter the patient demographics and then press OK to save the data. Now select the patient and then click the button Test to select the respective examination you want to perform on the patient. To start the examination of the patient, perform an SVC test first. Please disconnect the handheld sensor in order to perform the SVC test. Now please insert the spirit. Please do not remove the plastic wrapped around the mouthpiece of the spirette at this point. Now, select the SVC test by pressing the corresponding button. Leave the plastic wrapped around the mouthpiece to avoid flow during initialization. Press the button OK when the spirette is blocked. Please instruct the patient to breathe normally in the beginning, then fully inhale, and then exhale fully but slowly. Now, please remove the plastic wrapped around the mouthpiece. Ask the patient to put on the nose clip and sit up straight, with both feet flat on the floor. Ask the patient to place their teeth around the mouthpiece and close their lips. Please ask the patient not to bite or block the spirette with his tongue or teeth and to avoid leaks. The patient should breathe normally in the beginning. As soon as a stable tidal breathing baseline is established, the software indicates to start the maneuver. Ask the patient to inhale fully and then to exhale fully but slowly. Keep motivating the patient to blow out as much air as possible. Please provide the patient with a motivating feedback like, well done, and tell him that the test has to be repeated at least one more time. After a minimum of two acceptable trials, the SVC test is over and the patient can be told to breathe normally and rest. In preparation for the next test, please explain to the patient that he will breathe pure oxygen in order to observe how the normal air is being washed out of his lungs. You can now start the MBW test by clicking on the test button. Please inform the patient that the low humidity of the inhaled oxygen might cause slight discomfort to him and his throat might be feeling dry. For the next test, please insert the FRC Barriot. And mount the unit onto the flow sensor.
please provide the patient with the following information. First, you will be breathing normal air. After a few breaths, the system switches to oxygen. Continue breathing normally and stay relaxed during the whole test. Try to avoid coughing and make sure that your lips remain closed all the time. The test will take around three minutes. Please press the button MBW to start the respective test. Keep the sensor in your hand during initialization. This is important so that the valve can close and open properly. Please make sure to wait until the device finished initialization and the screen shows tidal breathing. Please ask the patient to put on the nose clip and sit up straight with both feet flat on the floor. Ask the patient to place their teeth around the mouthpiece and close their lips. Please ask the patient not to bite or block the spirette with his tongue or teeth and to avoid leaks. Ask the patient to breathe normally. Please tell the patient that the system will now switch to oxygen and reassure him to keep breathing normally even if the oxygen flows in. Please always check that the patient is not hyperventilating, but breathing slowly and relaxed. Please make sure that the patient reaches the target inspiratory volume. Breathing slowly and relaxed helps to avoid any discomfort caused by dry air and improves the quality of the measurement. You can see on the display that the N2 is washed out slowly over time. Please remind the patient to keep his lips closed during the whole test. These are the most important curves on the display. The breath volume, the corresponding flow, and the N2 concentration. On the right side of the screen, the following parameters are indicated. N2 concentration of the last breath, the functional residual capacity, or FRC, of the lungs, and the target inspiratory volume. When the target concentration of 2% N2 is reached, the test is ended automatically after a few extra breaths. Please provide the patient with a motivating feedback like, well done, and tell him that the test has to be repeated at least one more time. The waiting time between trials is indicated on the display. After a minimum of two acceptable trials, the MBW test is over. To summarize, please tell the patient to breathe normally and relaxed during the whole test. Reassure the patient to continue breathing normally and stay relaxed. Make sure that the patient is not coughing and that the lips remain closed during the whole test. The test will end automatically after the target concentration of 2% N2 is reached.